Welcome to Collecting Chaos. It's the Monday Morning Show. Uh, this is that show where I pick out some comics that I received over the last couple of months and show them to you. And uh, pick out two or three to be my cover of the week. That's based solely on the cover alone and nothing else. Uh, for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, please subscribe. I'm not going to ask you to hit the thumbs up button or the like until after you watch a portion of the video. Uh, but I do appreciate it if you go ahead and subscribe and maybe hit that bell notification. I do release three times a week, videos three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And Monday is, of course, the Monday morning show, which is what this is. Uh, Wednesday, I do what I call the Eternal My Light Project, and if you tune into that, that's where I pick out comics that I've had for over 20 years and show those, usually about 30 of them. And then Friday is what I call Freeform Friday, which I can do most anything, but lately it's been uh, minor repairs and uh, cleaning of comics. So there you go. That's what I do. Uh, on a regular basis, I also do a live stream on Thursday evenings, so you're more than welcome to join. Having said all of that, let's get on with the show. So I picked up some uh, comics that I was happy to get. Uh, starting with New Adventures of Superboy number 13. Uh... I like this cover. I like this cover so much. <laughs> First comic of the day, and it's going to be a candidate for cover of the week. Next, New Adventures of Superboy number 16. These are all in pretty nice shape. Number 18. Number 17, oops, it's out of order, isn't it? Put that back where it goes. Number 21. It's kind of a neat cover, too. And number 23. Next is a cover that I've been trying to get for a while. I'd never actually owned one of these. This is the Vengeance of Vampirilla Blue Variant, number one. And it's a wraparound cover. Uh, really happy to get this when, uh, again, yeah, I've, I've had the red variant several times, or the red one several times. I've never had the blue one, so I'm really happy about that. And you'd think I'd make that cover of the week, but no, it's not even in the running. There's a Johnny Quest. This is number four. It's a Dave Stevens cover, I believe. Sometimes they say who does the artwork, sometimes they don't. No, I don't think it does, but I'm pretty sure that's a Dave Stevens cover. It'll have a DS on there somewhere. I'll look for it later. Happy to get that cover of the week material right there. And I've got Black Cat number two. I'm not sure which volume this is, uh, but the way I the way I number them for a volume is you know, I use the barcode down there. And here's number three, and number four, and number five, and number six. Are you surprised? None of them made cover of the week. It's not that kind of week for me. Black Cat number one. It's a different series. Number three. Number five. 
and number six. I do like that cover, but nope, number seven. I'm not doing not doing those covers today. Then I have Jules Verne's Mysterious Isle, number one. And this is from 1964, I believe. Yes, November 1964. Nice cover. It's actually in pretty nice shape. Now this was, uh, it needs to be cleaned, but other than that, this is a really nice comic. It was a, uh, this was a free one. They threw it in when I bought these. Daredevil number 46. And this has some problems. Uh, I might give it a clean. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to it. Oh, it's... Yeah, I'm going to be doing quite a bit to this because this has old tape on it. And I do not like that at all. So I will be removing all of this old tape. Fixing it with... Uh, Yeah, with document uh, repair tissue. Yeah, they never mentioned there was tape on any of them, but then they probably never looked at them. Uh, here's Daredevil number 52. And uh, my, my intention on these was just to maybe clean them, and that was it. And this is from 1949. So, late golden age. Bad spine roll. I'll probably fix that and go ahead and clean them some. Here's a number 65. Again, with the tape. Not on the inside, but there's some on the outside. And I'll remove that. And a pretty bad spine roll. I'll fix that too. And go ahead and clean it up some. It's got some pencil on there. I'll lighten that up with a, with an eraser before I do any real cleaning to it. Daredevil number 67. I'll go ahead and reattach the cover on that and clean it. Because I plan on keeping these for a while. More tape. Daredevil number 72. Yeah, this is... The spine is split all the way down. So I'll, I'll take the old tape off and then do it right. Daredevil number... 77 and we should be in the 1950 or so now 1951 and Daredevil number 78 you know what I like that cover go get him wise guys he's not so tough Okay, guys, there goes Slugger. That's our cue to rush him. Slugger and the Little Wise Guys. I like all of these covers. Dare, or Daredevil number 88. Daredevil featuring the Little Wise Guys number 88. It says, don't fire. They're holding the Little Wise Guys on board. You heard the Coast Guard. They won't sink these rats while we're aboard. Well, what are we waiting for? And they start jumping in the water while they're tied up. Bad guys are saying, if they get away, we're sunk. Stop them. Yeah. Might have to read some of this. I might do that on a Freeform Friday. Read a little, some, uh, read some old comics. Or short stories out of old comics. Here's Daredevil number 89. It says, hey, Scarecrow, wake up. That floor is breaking. Hold it. I heard it's dangerous to wake a sleepwalker. <laughs> yeah. 
And they actually continue that story on the inside. So that's kind of cool. Well, let's see. I think this is going to be my third one for cover of the week. It says, keep the pitchfork in front of his face, Pee Wee. Hurry, fellas, I can't hold him off much longer. And this is one of the ones that has tape on it that I'm going to have to fix up, I believe. Uh, this is the one that's detached. No tape on it, just detached. So there you go. Ought to be fun. Like I said, there you go. Here's... Daredevil number 67. I believe this is from 1951, 1950. Mm, not sure. 1949. Comico's Johnny Quest number four. And Super Bo New Adventures of Superboy number 13. Those are my three candidates for cover of the week. One of these I'm going to pick as my cover of the week. I'll let you know which one is on Wednesday. In the meantime, which one of these three do you like best? Put that in, your, in the comments down below and we'll see which one, uh, which one I pick for my cover of the week. You have Superboy fighting off tigers. You have... Um, Pee Wee fighting off a mountain lion. And uh, to me, it looks like the girls fighting off Johnny Quest, but I could be wrong. <laughs> you know, the girls fighting off a wolf. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this week, uh, for this uh, Monday morning show. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you uh, go ahead and subscribe, like I said, and... Uh, I'm not going to go through when I release videos again. I already did it. Uh, but go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And uh, leave a comment. Comments are important. Uh, and if you want to support the channel, consider joining my Patreon uh, or buying me a cup of coffee. There's links to that down below. But even if you don't want to join the Patreon, go to my Patreon page anyway. There's some free stuff on there that I've make, made available to everybody uh, that I've done in the past. And uh, I, think, uh, I think it can help people out. So uh, do that. Check it out. And uh, don't forget, before you hand to your comics, cards, collectibles, toys, games, whatever you happen to be into, make sure you wash your hands. Wash them before, wash them after. It's good for the comics, good for your health. And we'll see you next time on a video. Bye.